Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas. and as we start the new semester, we've had questions about how to view grades for inactive or concluded students in the Canvas gradebook. So let's see how we can see those grades. So I am in one of my courses, I'm going to go to grades, I'm going to my gradebook. Um, a lot of us uh, now know that we can filter by grading periods, whether it be by spring or fall, or if you teach elementary by trimesters. But let's say that I am a high school teacher and I have a student that is um, has moved from my fifth period to my first period, and I need to see some of those grades. Okay, so what you want to do uh, is that you want to go to your gradebook where it says student name, and there are three dots, right? There are little uh, snowmen or hamburger. You want to click on it and notice that show at the bottom has inactive enrollments. We won't see a lot of these ones. This is uh, something that happens more at the, at the uh, college level, but concluded enrollment, someone that has been dropped from our Canvas course and now has been added to a different period. So you can click concluded enrollments and you will see that some students that were not here appear now. Okay, let me do that again so you can see that. Okay, I think one of them will be, uh, let's see, Mr. Beasley maybe, but let's look at it again. So let's go ahead and unclick it. No, he was there already. So let's find out the one that appear. There's some that appear, Stephanie Chavez. Actually, you can see who they are with these little three dots right here. This tells you that they were concluded that, that they had been dropped from the class so they had been transferred from one class to the other so now i can actually see them okay so now i can click on um, one of them and let's go ahead and click on this one right here okay and now i see that particular student i can go to grades okay and over here notice that by default i am on spring okay but if i wanted to see grades from the entire grading period for fall, I can just click on it and apply. And now I will be able to see all of the grades for that student. So this is a way for us to be able to see grades for a student that has maybe moved from one period to the other. Another option that you have going back to grades is that we are showing all of our concluded enrollments and I can go over here to actions and I, be, I, I have the ability to export those grades and now I can have an Excel sheet of those grades that I can try and bring into that new period where the student is now at. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosas. Have a great day.